Hello, fella. There must be a cycling event today. A lot of bicycles on the show you gotta watch out for. We're on our way to the Gonzaga Bridge State Park and where do you see why it's a state park? Why, where do you see what happened to the bridge? Yeah, where do you see what happened to it? Um, now, uh, historic landmark. Um, I'm not certain on the pronunciation. Uh, down where I'm from, we always called it uh, the Kinzu. Kin there's the Kinzu Dam, the Kinzu Bridge. Um, but there's an A on the end of it. I've always wondered, is it pronounced Kinzua? I think it's Indian. Did the Indians pronounce it Kinzua? Does, uh, what about the locals? So, if I'm back and forth between pronunciations, it's an old habit of Kinzu. And then, more recently, I started calling it Kinzua. So, excuse me if I'm wrong on either account. Hopefully, somebody out there will correct me. <laughs> okay, no lights. No crossing here. You're just supposed to stop. Stop, look, and listen. All right. Bella doesn't get to come. I've got the uh, the generator running, the air conditioner on. She can uh, get her get her nap in today. We're going to head over there. The bridge is just on the other side of that building. It's kind of amazing what happened here. This will probably be one of those videos where I think I only think I know the story, and then when I read the sign boards, it'll. They'll prove me wrong. I get the story all wrong. Oh, the viaduct once dubbed the eighth wonder in the world. It's been a popular tourist attraction for generations. Huh. The original uh, construction was uh, completed in 94 days. Well, rebuilt. The train stop. Hmm. When did the when did the uh, tor tornado happen? I don't know. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, the tallest and longest bridge of its time, the Kinzua divided up and embodied the spirit in, of the Industrial Revolution. Cargo and sightseers rumbled across the Videk for 120 years until an F1 tornado toppled the Videk in 2003. Yeah, today Skywalk. Okay. All right. Part of the story I heard was <laughs> was okay. It was being declared a national uh, uh, historic landmark, and they inspected it. or well, they knew that the, some bolts were getting rusty uh, on the footings. And that they were kind of mid, that, that process has already began, that they were drilling those out and replacing them. And that they wasn't, the job wasn't complete. And it was just bad timing. Uh, and it was storm season, a tornado come through and wiped it out before they had a chance to uh, finish the job and finish reinforcing it. Now, I forget where I heard that, how much truth is in that, but that's the story I heard. I should have brought my camcorder so we could zoom over to the other side. They might be, I've seen a couple things on the internet. I don't know, they make me suspect they might be developing the other side, like they turned this into a, a walkway. Maybe they're doing that to the other side as well. Well, there's not much left on the other side. Let's look down over. Yeah, there's a path. Uh, there's a trail you can go and you can zigzag go the whole way down over the hill and uh, down into the valley and up the other side that is quite a hike I don't know what's going on with my knee today I'm experiencing a little pain it's 
pretty cool they kept the original rails here in the uh, in the railroad ties put a walkway on each side and a railing it's quite a valley I think they said this is a uh, 2,000 feet long is that I don't remember what that signboard said yeah I think it said 2,000 feet long I forget how high it's uh, pretty far <laughs> We've made it out here to the end. There's all the wreckage down there. And you can see the concrete footers. You know, the, the structure was all mounted to. Now, from what I can see, the other side is just fenced. Doesn't look like there's any tourist, you know, development for tourists to visit that end. Yep, down she went. But that made a racket. Looks like they developed a path better. I was here one time some years and years ago. And I don't recall. Oh, never mind. Actually, I didn't come out this far. Maybe that's why I didn't see it. I checked them out last time. I There's an observation back over there. Yeah, I could view the valley from over there. I checked them out. But since, since Ross come with me today... <laughs> we, we're supporting each other in this. Yeah. See the people right there? See them? See how small they are? <laughs> That's a, that is a ways down there. What a hike. Wow, I see people. Wow, I see people up there. Wow. Those are some troopers out there. And I wonder, there is some of the bridges still left on the other side. I wonder exactly. It's hard to tell from this looking at it straight on. It's like uh, only a couple of sections. One, two, maybe three or four of the concrete things. I can see him back up in there. Yeah. You see, that's what makes me nervous. I don't, I don't mind being up here because the railings are high enough, substantial enough structure. Uh, this isn't bad being out here, and this doesn't bother me looking, looking out here at a distance. It's kind of nice, but it's when you look down. Did you see? I didn't, no, don't do that. See. It's not, not, don't do that. See? Now that the wind's picking up, that, that's making me nervous. Because that's what brought this down to begin with. Clearly this bridge can, can fall down. There's evidence right there. And here we are on what's left of it. Does that make any sense? That's what we this continues on up through the woods here. The original railroad bed here has been turned into a rail to trail. And it uh, looks like this was voted Pennsylvania Trail of the Year 2023. Mount Jewett to Kinsua Bridge Trail. 7.8 miles of the Knox and Cane Rail Trail. So. Train come down this way. Shoo, shoot across the bridge. Pedestrian, no bikes beyond this point. Yeah, down to Kane is eight miles. Yeah, the trail goes ziggity zag, ziggity zag, center street trailheads here somewhere. On up here to uh Kizu Bridge State Park. You are here. So it's like a lot, yeah. I guess the new railroad's over here somewhere. And I don't think they had to build quite as substantial a bridge. What am I gonna just build over there to begin with? Who surveyed that job anyway? <laughs> this is an interesting signpost. Uh, this is a lumber heritage region. Um, what? That is the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon, 78 miles that way. The Pennsylvania Lumber Museum is 49 miles that way. All right, let's move on. 
Here's what I need. It's a scaled down, a scaled down train somewhere. Of course, I need an engine. Maybe I'd have to build an engine for it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They have like earth, cutstone, and then bridge work, iron work. They have some interesting educational tools here. They just teach them about wildlife, but they're all ran by mechanical mechanisms. Look, the around so far. And then you turn it, check this out. Check this out. You turn this, and then the saw uh, grabs that. And it takes it again. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, it's the information things. There, this is a nice stand, okay? Made out of gears. That's the kind of furniture I like. So we came up to the next floor, and they have what seems to be the original, the original iron uh, supports. It's all rounded. Each section is rounded. And then over here, they have, hang on a second, yeah, sections of the original iron support. And then over here, I probably took from the, uh, what was left of what fell, a decent <laughs> section that was still decent, wasn't all bent and twisted, the newer uh, steel structure. Uh-oh, you know what, this is, this is not, this is a, uh, Doesn't sound like metal. It sounds like, yeah. How they textured it to make it look like steel is weird. This is not metal. Oh, wait a minute. It feels cold like steel. This has a weird sound to it. Leave it to me to do stuff backwards <laughs> to start the end and come backwards through the beginning. This is the main entrance. So it has, you know, three of these. So. so. Pretty cool. Well, we are back at the rigs. We still got to think about uh, where we're going to stay tonight. So. All right, let's go down and take care of Bella. I'm sure she's up in the front seat already. Yeah, she's. Are you ready? There you go. I think our next destination is about 24 miles to the south. Hopefully it's a nice campground that has room. We're going through a little town called Mount Jewett. Mount Jewett, Pennsylvania. I've seen a sign back there where they have a, a Swedish festival. Just never heard of a Swedish festival before. Why wouldn't the Swedish why wouldn't the Swedes have festivals like everybody else, right? I just never heard of one, that's all. It's just, it's caught me, caught me up. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and there's a sign up there, uh, the Swedish special, oh, August 11th through 13th. The Vikings are coming. <laughs> Over here a minute. We just stopped in a minute to check on something, and uh, funny about the uh, oh, the Viking thing. Look, here's a there's a there's a, a Viking wagon. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. All right, we're gonna get back on our way here. I bet that the uh, Swedish festival is uh, probably similar to or not the same thing as a Renaissance fair. I bet that is interesting. I've only ever been to one and it was pretty good. Those of you that's been to them, it's probably 
know what I'm talking about. If you haven't been to one, go to a Renaissance Fair sometime. Pretty interesting. We found a spot. We, we did. Russ is back over here. It even has electric. So, but we really don't need it for tonight. Uh, it's over there somewhere. I swore. Yeah, it has electric. Uh, I thought it was this site. Uh, plenty of room for the van. A nice big site way up here on the hill. This campground, it starts way over. And it's weird. It zigzags as it comes up the hill. Now we're way up here. and uh, It was just as funny. The down over the hill, I didn't have uh, cell service. I get up here on the hill and I do. So we got lucky uh, in that department. We already got us a little bit uh, wood left behind from a previous camper. And, uh, so, uh, and a nice site down there. It has this big, huge rock down there by the, by the uh, picnic table. This is, a, this is a nice site. And we're getting late in the day. We're getting pretty hungry. So we're going to do baked beans tonight. <laughs> I won't tell you what we had last night, but it was not camp related. Who <laughs> was out and about. Uh, and uh, finally we get to have uh, cheeseburgers tonight. So that's what's on the menu. We're just having a little fire this evening because, because uh, that's all we have is little wood. So we're having a little fire because we only have little wood. <laughs> so dinner is done. We are good and full. Bella has eaten. She got a little bit of hamburger. She's over there laying by Russ. How am I talking about you, girl? Come here. Look, she's so full she can hardly walk. No, I'm just kidding. She just <laughs> it's had a long day. Now I got full bellies. You know what time of day it's getting to be. Oh, well, it'll be time for bed pretty soon, huh? A little bit later. Do you have a good dinner? Was it good? Mm -hmm. Say it was good. No marshmallows. Hmm. Guess we're out of luck. <laughs> 